Hello everyone, I'm Isaiah, I'm a junior here at Bernalillo High. Today we will be showing you around the campus and the opportunities you could get here at Bernalillo High. We're now going to head to the front office. And so this here is the front desk. Mr. Ray will be here. So if you need to check out your student or if you have any questions to find a class, you can also come see Ray for any information. This here is the attendance. Ms. Joan is the attendance lady. So you have a doctor's excuse or anything, bring your attendance slip here for you to be excused. And also you can call in if you're absent or if you have a doctor's appointment or sick, you can call in and she will mark you down for the day. Here, through these doors is the principals. Main principal is Mr. McCorkle. Your assistant principal is Ms. Espinosa. And the third vice principal is Ms. Maldonado. You can also find Ms. Melissa Garcia here, the principal receptionist and the bookkeeper, Miss Romero, if you have any questions. If we go down here, <clears throat> these are the counselors area. Each grade level has a counselor, ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, and seniors. You will all have your own counselor. If you have any questions about a schedule or grades or anything, you come see them. This area here, if you are a student aide, you are here to assist the counselors to take slips to students or any other information that they need for you. So now we're gonna head from here and we're gonna head up to the library. All right, we are now in the library. Over there is the librarian. Her name is Miss Christy Mortensen. Here and here, you can check out any books if you have a project or if you need to for a class, you can check out a book. Over here we have your computers if you have a project and you need to stay after school, you can stay and look up research and you also will be taking your tests in here for your teachers. The library is open Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 2.30, unless you have asked the bookkeeper to stay longer for progress. We head over to Mr. Leal's class. He does the business marketing. Hello, my name is Anthony Leal. I'm the business computer teacher here at Bernalillo High School and I was my first year, half a year actually, and I'll be hopefully on next year too. And basically I teach is computers, but we teach business along with it. So we learn uh, programs probably using Google Classroom, and uh, hopefully use that again next year. We also use Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint. We teach business, a, or I should say introductory business, and then we teach uh, intermediate business. And we're hoping they'll open up a cafe too, and I guess I could show you that there. And that's a program we might be doing onto an entrepreneurship program. So this is where we would prepare the food. And of course, we come in then to sell it to the students that come in this room. Oops. And this is where we have our registers. We have areas where people can eat and prepare the food here. So this is a program we hope to establish again here at Bernalillo High School. Alrighty. Now we're going to head down to some of the, I'm going to show you where some of the classes are. So follow me. Alrighty. Good. So here we have your history department, Mr. Reimer, Ms. Senna, Ms. Gonzalez, and Mr. Lopez. Over here, we have the Native American Liaison's office for our Native American students. If you need help, visit your class 232. Good morning, my name is Cassandra Lenti. I'm the Native American Liaison here at Bernalillo High School. I sponsor Han Youth Council. So what is Han Youth Council? Han Youth Council is a Native American-based student council here at the high school. Um, so first question, do you have to be Native American to join? No, you don't, though most of our members are primarily Native American, so students from the different pueblos surrounding the high school. What activities do we do with Han Youth Council? So we do sponsor different cultural and spiritual activities here. So for example, in November, we sponsor Native American Heritage Month. At the end of the school year in May, we sponsor a Mr. and Mrs. Native VHS pageant. So we'll have a male and a female run for Mr. and Mrs. Native VHS. We do Pueblo throws throughout the school year, you know, just kind of like a give back to the community. We do extracurricular events outside of school. 
So we'll go and make care packages for the homeless, um, make, do different little things. Um, we'll sell sometimes for public feast days, different things like that to connect our members to the outside world and also part of a give back. So if you have any questions um, regarding Haunted Council, would like to join, it's fun, we have a good time, we always have food, we laugh, um, we just have a good time all around. So like I said, if you have any questions or would like to join, please feel free to contact me um, at kaylenti at bernaleops.org. Now we're gonna head down to media production and yearbook and the photojournalism class. So here we have Miss Quintana's classroom. Here, if you're interested in any photojournalism, doing the yearbook, or it to teaching, this is the teacher. She's really great. We're gonna head in now. All right, so hi, I'm Miss Quintana, and I teach the photojournalism course. So if you're interested in photography, we work with uh, studio lights or looking at outdoor photography um, and different photo techniques to improve your photography skills. I also teach the yearbook class. So if you're interested in yearbook, take the photojournalism class first and then join yearbook and then you can apply the skills that you learned in photography. And it's a great way to get involved in the school because you would be covering sporting events, you would be covering um, our homecoming weeks or things that are going on in the classroom, etc., and actually applying the skills that you learned in photojournalism into a place where everyone's going to see your work in the yearbook. And then the third program I work with in CTE would be the Educators Rising class. So if you're interested in becoming a teacher someday or working for a school district, becoming a school principal, maybe the superintendent or working in social work as a social work for the schools, uh, consider join, joining our teacher academy classes. You would start with child development and then, and then you would move into teacher academy one and then two and both of the teacher academy one and two you would receive college credit for um, your coursework and so you can receive your bachelor's in three and a half years by following the teacher academy course pathway for more information feel free to email me at nquintana at bernaleops.org all right after finishing that class we're now going to head down to where the math classrooms are Alrighty, so we are now in the math department area. Here you have Mr. Jaramillo, Mr. Borrega, and Ms. Flores. Those are your three math teachers here at the high school. Next is the English department. We're going to go down and show you where the English uh, classrooms are. Alrighty, so we are now in the English department. Here you have Ms. Myers, Ms. Terstil, and Ms. Apodaca. Mr. Steele does juniors and seniors, Ms. Apodaca does seniors, and Ms. Meyer does freshmen and sophomore and juniors. We're now going to head down to the science department and we'll show you all that there. All right, so here is your science department. Here we have our science teachers, Ms. A and Ms. Bakula. Um, these behind me are two doors to the science labs. So we're going to go in and show you what the science lab looks like and I'll talk a little bit more. Alrighty, welcome to the lab. There's two, there's one next door and there's one here. As I said, science teachers, Miss A or Miss Acantilado and uh, Miss Bacula. If you have any science experiments or hands-on to do, you will come here. As you see, there's a, quite a few things you could do here. Tables to do your projects on and all kinds of cool stuff. Your science teachers will talk more about it, so it's a lot of fun. Hello everyone, I'm Miss Acantilado. Uh, most of my peers and my students call me as Miss A. I've been in Bernalillo for 11 years and I am the advisor of the National Honor Society, uh, STEM Club, and uh, MESA Club. For the National Honor Society, it's an organization of those students having a GPA of 3.75 above. Uh, they can get in by turning in the necessary document and my teacher council will gonna review their application. And then after that, we'll be doing an induction. What we usually do here after you get into the club will be uh, community service. You should be fulfilling like uh, 10 hours community service. 
we also do some fundraising. Uh, the fan activity that we, uh, most important thing that we do here is we go out of state and join the uh, annual National Honor Society Convention. Uh, yearly, we go to Chicago, DC, and but this year because of pandemic, we're not able to go to other uh, program like that. Hi, my name is Rizal Cantilado and I'm a senior member and the president of National Honor Society. National Honor Society focuses on making kids better leaders for their community. Um, National Honor Society has multiple benefits, including lead conferences, um, college applications, a boost of your resume, and um, scholarship. All right, welcome to this side. Here we have Karis for our Native American students. Here we have Spanish with Miss Diaz, and she's going to talk to you more about Spanish, really. Hello, my name is Susan Diaz. I am the Spanish teacher here at Bernalillo High School, and I'd like to welcome you to our Spanish department. Um, this year we are offering Spanish 1, 2, 3, and 4. And something new that we're offering this year is the Heritage Spanish 1, 2, 3, and 4. For those of you that are fluent Spanish speakers, that's something new they will be having this year. We also offer the Bilingual Seal for those of you that are Spanish speakers. The Bilingual Seal is a step progression that um, will allow you to take um, Heritage Spanish 1, 2, and 3, and it'll give you a seal on your diploma when you graduate your senior year. And you will also receive a cord um, for your graduation on graduation day. Now, the options that you have in fulfilling the bilingual, the bilingual seal is option number one is to take four years of Spanish and complete a capstone paper and presentation. Option number two is to complete four years of Spanish and take the AVID test and receive a five or above on your AVID score. And then the last option is to take the AVID test with a five or above and complete the capstone paper um, with the presentation. Some of the things that we do in the Spanish class is we have, we do lots of projects. One of the projects that we did this year was the Worry Dolls or the muñecas quita penas that the kids worked on. They came out really cool. Other things that we have is that we have games that we play. And we also have read two books in the Spanish class. We read um, Cajas de Cartón by Francisco Jimenez. And then we also read La Distancia Entre Nosotros by Reina Grande. Alrighty, so now after talking with her, this is JAG in the AVID classroom with Miss Jones. She's going to give you more information on what JAG and AVID is. Hi, I am Miss Juliet Jones, and I would love to invite you to the AVID program next year. It's an honor to be selected, and we work very, very hard to help you achieve your personal goals, your career goals, um, your get the best GPA that you can get. Um, AVID is a wonderful way to support you in your high school career. So please, please apply for AVID and we will be here to help you. And I'm the teacher for AVID and also for JAGS, Jobs for America's Graduates. And I would love to have you in the JAG program. We help you get organized. We help you succeed in your academics. We're not gonna help you make best friends, but we will help you with your career. We will help you focus on what I gotta be when I grow up, okay? We'll help you with applications to the university of your choice. We will tell you all about the lottery scholarship, which is so unique in New Mexico. So please apply for JAGS. We help you get jobs for America's graduates. And remember, I'm also the AVID teacher. Alrighty, so here we're at the nurse's office. If you're not feeling good or anything, just come to the nurse's office and they'll help you out. Now we're going to go to the learning lab and credit recovery room. So here, this is the learning lab or credit recovery lab. If you fail the class and you need to make up a credit, you will come here. Uh, the teacher is Miss Jennifer Jaramillo. So if you fail the class, you need to make up a credit, or if you need to get more credits, you'll come here to receive those credits. Hi students, my name is Ms. Jaramillo. Some of you know me as Coach Jen, and I am the student council sponsor. 
So for some of you that might be interested in politics or getting involved in your school, this is the perfect opportunity for you to do so. We have what is called our leadership class that meets every day as one of our class periods. And during that class, we learn communication skills as well as plan all of the social events that happen here at BHS. So if you are interested in joining student council, please make sure that you let your counselor know so that they can register you into my class. Also, if you were ever interested in running for a position such as student body president or your class president, this is the class for you. So keep an eye out for all of those announcements as we get close to election time, which is typically in May. And I hope to see you as part of our student council community. We're now gonna head over to the 300 building where most of the electives are and where the cafeteria is as well. Okay, we're now going to enter into the auto shop with Mr. Fisher. Mr. Fisher is going to talk to you more about auto. Hi, my name is Bert Fisher. I'm the auto shop instructor here at Bernalillo High School. Uh, just to kind of give you a little rundown of what you can hope to uh, learn and be a part of here in, the, in this particular program. Uh, I teach three levels. I teach Auto 1, Auto 2, and then Spark Auto. Uh, auto 1 can be a standalone class, so if you just want to get familiar with how to work on a car, kind of go through and uh, figure out how to maintain it and keep it safe on the road, uh, you can take the class. And then if you want to pursue a career in the automotive industry, say maybe you want to become an automotive technician or you want to get into doing other things in the automotive industry, you can take Auto 2, which will get a little bit more in-depth in, in diagnosing and repairing. And then my advanced classes are called Spark Auto. I have Spartan Auto 1 and Spartan Auto 2. The first Spartan Auto class will teach actual repair work and how to work inside a shop. Uh, and the Spartan Auto 2 will actually teach you how to run a business from the inside, say as a service manager or doing the office stuff versus being out in the shop. So you get a full hands-on experience. You can go from being just uh, someone who's interested to being someone who's really wanting to take a career in the automotive industry. Uh, the nice thing about my courses is we are designed, I teach four dual credit courses. So in those four dual credit courses, you can actually earn a certificate from CNM as well as study and actually take the ASC certification test. And because of the way the programs are structured, if you go through the Spark Automotive classes, you actually get hands-on work experience. You can actually graduate the high school if you set your mind to it, study, and train and take the test, you can actually graduate as an ASC Master Certified Technician, which is an industry standard that is it's very uh, thought after. The, uh, the industry itself, uh, mechanics are in high demand right now, so there's a good opportunity for employment, especially if you have those ASC certifications. All right, we're now gonna head to Woods, where Mr. Van Hoos is gonna talk to you more about it. Hello, my name is uh, Jack Van Hoos and I'm the Industrial Technology Education Instructor here in the Career Tech Department. And just so happens that I am uh, the department head and we're in my classroom. So you can kind of pan around maybe and take a shot of the classroom as I continue to talk. Uh, we have about 24 PCs in here and students spend time in here uh, learning about safety for the Woods Lab. And we also spend quite a bit of time learning about drafting and architecture and everything that the students build in the labs start in here, in this room right here. And this is the design room, the innovative room. Uh, we're in the Woods Lab. Uh, as you can see, you kind of pan around the room. It's a very large lab. Uh, we have a large bay door. To receive materials and move materials out. A lot of machinery and equipment in here. Um, real life stuff is happening in this room. And uh, we spent a lot of time talking about uh, safety and proper operation of this equipment. We can kind of take a tour and walk through some of the rooms. Uh, we have automatic lighting that comes on when we enter the room. This is a tool storage room. We have lots of tools. We're, we're constantly getting new tools. We have a brand new air compressor that we've purchased. Um, even though we're in the pandemic, we're trying to get ready for students to return. 
We'll walk over here into another room and take a look at the story. Um, so this room is storage. We got uh, wood here on the, on the racks that's ready to be used. We got plywood over here. And as you know, due to the pandemic, we ended up leaving school last March. We have a lot of projects that are all around in here that are uh, in, in different stages. Hopefully we'll get a chance to complete them. Um, one of the other big areas that we have is over here. We'll walk down here and take a look. You'll notice that we have a large double door on this end of the room. We have a new up and coming exciting film program. And I'm not sure why that's not working, but I'll troubleshoot that. But this opens up and straight across the hut. The hallway there is the black box, and, and we can design sets in here and move them over to the, the set over there. And, and here's a project that was being done. Uh, this young lady did a lot of wood burning. And maybe you can get a couple of looks at that. And I, hope to, I hope to see you in this class. I hope to see you take this, give this an opportunity. Thank you for listening. All right, and now we're going to head to welding, but before we go down to the classroom, here is the welding workshop. Um, this is where you will come in and do hands-on for welding. Let's go down to the classroom. Hi, my name is Rory. Dean Martinson couldn't be here today, so I will be talking in his place about the welding. Um, this is right now the classroom where you would learn technically the basic of welding, how to get the technique, and just safety in general. After that, you take a test, and when you take it, you'll, and you pass it, honestly, you'll be moved to the welding workshop to start actually welding. So this is the welding shop. You'd be assigned a locker, and you'd go change into your safety gear, which would be glasses, um, your helmet, a jacket, and if you bring your own shoes, you can wear your own shoes. They have to be steel toe though, or boots. Then you'll go to the shop of stick welding. This is where you'll learn the basic and then from there you'd start learning how to grind your what your pieces are. Then you'll transfer over to learning how to do TIG sometimes depending if you you've progressed into showing that you can do it. You'll also learn how to use the torch and let's say you're really good he'll have you work with other students on projects. We're now going to head over to art and see what that's all about. Hello students, it's Miss Jaramillo again, and we are actually in the art room. Unfortunately, Miss Kruzak, who is the art teacher, could not be here today, so I'm going to be filling in for her and giving you some information about her art classes and, of course, her art club. So, some of the classes that Miss Kruzak teaches is Art 2D, Art 3D, Painting and Drawing 1, 2, and 3, Ceramics, Sculpture, Film Art, and she is the sponsor for the art club. Some of Ms. Pruzak's expectations are that the process of creating art is a challenging experience, and she expects her students be, to be willing to challenge themselves by learning new techniques and taking creative chances. In order to take any of Ms. Pruzak's classes, you must take 2D or 3D first in order to move on with the rest of her classes, and again, that's art 2D and 3D are her prerequisites. Some of the projects you may complete while you're in this class are paintings, drawings, paper mache, making ceramics, making sets, costumes, and creature designs. Some of the reasons why you would wanna be in any of her classes or join her club is that art influences so many parts of our lives and learning how to express ourselves creatively allows us to grow and influence the world around us. So again, guys, this is Ms. Pruzak's art class. Um, I hope that you guys got some good information and hopefully you guys ask your counselors to get you into this class if art is something you're really passionate about or something that you wanna learn more about. We're now gonna head over to the black box with Mr. Milner and he's gonna to talk to you more about theater and film. Well, I am Mr. Milner. I am the uh, film and drama teacher here at Bernalillo High School, and this is going to be my future venue and office here. This is what we call our black box theater, 
and it is called the black box because we can adjust certain settings with our chairs for different uh, situations, for different stages and different uh, film production shoots. So this is the room where everything is going to happen. And as you can see, it is a really cool, exciting space to be in. Um, we have our performance area here, our audience chairs. And then if you can see up here, this is the top of our grid and what we call the catwalk grid. This is where all of our lighting instruments get hung up here in the top. And as you can see down here below the wire mesh, the stage and the seats and everything is way below us. So this is quite a, a setup here that we have in the black box. This allows our students to hang specific lights, to angle them, to put different color tones in them, and aim and make a full lighting design below us here on the stage. Uh, we will also be using this for film production shoots as well. So if we're filming a scene down here below us, students can come and again, hang the lights, position them, turn, uh, control you know, how bright or how dim they are in, to, in, in terms of shooting that particular scene. So there's a lot of exciting, interesting work that goes on. And this is the behind the scenes stuff. And there's so much behind the scenes work that goes on in a theater production or cinema. And this is one of the great areas that during a performance, you don't see the people up here, but a lot of really cool work is going on. So this is the catwalk. Um, really looking forward to looking at all these different lights and all of the different creative designs we can do with light with them. So this is really where everything is going to happen. And it is such an exciting place to be in when you're in a performance. You're here working with other students, you're reacting off other students, you're reacting with all the audience members that are going to be out here to see certain shows. We also have a projector up here and a screen where we will be able to show our students films. So this is our all-encompassing internal space to do our projects. And drama and cinema is so exciting uh, to be a part of. Uh, there are so many different aspects, so many different angles of which students can study from acting to directing to cinematography to lighting to sound, all sorts of different uh, roles that you play in theater and cinema. And the coolest thing about it is in a class, we will all come together in all of our respective roles to create one big project. And so there are so many different things to learn and it's all creative. It is a creative process. It is what we call a creative collaboration with one another as students. Very, very exciting things. And our program here at Bernalillo High, we are developing, we have really big plans and big ideas for the things that we're gonna do in the future. And we are so excited about it. And we're really excited for new students to come into our program and explore this tremendous arena of live production, plays, theater, and movie making. Really exciting stuff. So this is our prop room in the Black Box Theater. And this is where a lot of the you know, garments and things that we'll use for costuming, uh, you know, different uh, props here, like the glasses and all of this type of thing. So this is where we have opportunity for students to go into costuming. Uh, we will also be looking into makeup and those types of areas and also for building sets. And so set design is another big aspect of particularly what we will do for the stage. But in rooms like this, we have some supplies that students can start using uh, some of the things that we already have. They can bring new things in and uh, we can also uh, develop new creations with makeup and costumes. Uh, as we go on from production to production. So again, in cinema and in the drama program, there are so many different avenues to focus on and study. If you're interested in costumes and garments, you can come here and learn that. If you are interested in makeup effects, whether they're for scary movies or whatever type of makeup, you can learn it here. There's a lot of different angles and a lot of different uh, opportunities to learn 
these different roles as we, uh, as we put on these films in these stage productions. So this is our sound room for the Black Box Theater. Um, Bernalillo High, we have certain systems like this that is equipped to help with our productions. And uh, this particular system here will be audio and sound for uh, live stage performances. But we can also use this in our cinema program to do things like ADR or automatic dialogue replacements. Uh, where students can sit here with microphones and actually speak the dialogue in a script and where we can go in and edit and lip sync those, uh, those dialogue words to the, the uh, picture. So this is a, a setup that we can use for a, a variety of different purposes, but this gives us an example of just the kind of tools that we have here in, in the facility that we have here in, uh, in all of the pursuits that we're going to have. So students have a hands-on opportunity to get on these types of systems, learn how to operate them, and build uh, really amazing skills in, uh, in making films and doing our live productions. All right, folks, we're now here at the band room. If you are interested in taking band, you can take it right here. Hello, my name is Eliana Chacon, and I'm going to be explaining a few of the things that the band program at BHS offers to new students. So this year, if you're thinking about joining the band program, I suggest you do because overall, it's just a great, wonderful, fun experience. You get to perform at football games, sometimes volleyball games. You know, you get to enjoy the atmosphere, cheer on your fellow classmates. And not only that, but you get to also perform in competitions. So you get to compete against other schools. So if you love music and you love exploring that side of you, the creative side, I would suggest joining the band program this year. And also, unfortunately, this year our band teacher had left. You know, they quit. But that's not going to stop us from learning and playing those songs like never before. So join the band program because you definitely will not regret it. Now here we have our cafeteria. There are four meals every day, so whatever meal you like, you stand in that line, and you're welcome to get anything you like. Over here, we have the culinary room. If you're interested in cooking or baking, you can join this class and learn the different things. We're going to head in, and we're going to see what Mr. Sullivan has to tell more about culinary. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jeff Sullivan. I am the culinary teacher here at Berlin uh, High School. Um, welcome to my class. Uh, so in this class, and why you would want to join, it's a great class. Everybody needs to learn how to cook. Uh, I have three classes. I have my intro class, I have my culinary one class, and my advanced culinary two class. Uh, what I start out with is safety and sanitation. So you'll be in here in the classroom uh, learning safety and sanitation. And then we'll go, come over here into our prep area. This is where we do all of our prepping of vegetables or meats or foods, anything that we're going to be cooking. We prep in here and then we'll go from here into our kitchen. So our kitchen, we've got a really great kitchen in here. So we have our ovens and stoves. Uh, we just got a deep fat fryer, so that's a great thing. We got a grill, that's brand new. That's something I'm gonna be teaching you guys. We got our convection ovens, our industrial refrigerators here. After you guys are done cooking everything, we come over here into our dish pit. And this is where you'll be washing your dishes. We got our three compartment sink and we got our dishwasher here. Thank you for, uh, uh, thank you for, Considering my class, I hope to see you guys soon. All right, folks, through that door outside is um, the animal science uh, classroom. You can take animal science to learn the different parts of an animal or the animal's life. If you're interested, you can take that class and Ms. Peterman teaches that class. Good afternoon. My name is Janet Peterman. I am the FFA advisor. Uh, we have hold meetings here in this room. Uh, FFA helps teach you life skills such as public speaking, uh, also explore different career options within agriculture, build on those career choices, uh, explore lots. We also get to travel state, so we do judging events 
here in our area, as well as traveling down to Las Cruces. And there is a possibility of traveling out of state to the national competition in Illinois. FFA just really helps develop agriculture skills and those life skills that can help you in any career field that you choose to follow. Alrighty folks, so here on my left hand side we do have the gym. In here there is the weight room, the basketball court. In here you will take PE. If you do sports, you can also do weightlifting inside. On my right hand side we have our new auxiliary gym. Um, it's kind of a smaller gym, but that does offer a cheer room, a weight room, and another basketball court. So that's a pretty cool new gym. This is Coach Montano, uh, Bernalillo High School's physical education teacher. Um, just giving you kind of a brief uh, what we've been doing uh, for the last maybe two three years. Uh, last year was really nice. We had uh, you know I like the uh, physical education. I don't like the remote uh, I guess physical education. But uh, more than more than like what we do is on the uh, regular school day when everybody's in school. Uh, pretty much do an everyday exercise situation. Uh, Mondays and uh, Thursdays are, are, well, Mondays is our unit work. And then usually we had um, the Native Visions come in and do some leadership work uh, together. And then, of course, Wednesday, uh, Wednesdays and, uh, no, I'm sorry, that was Wednesdays. Thursdays and uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays were actually our weightlifting days. So we do some weights, uh, you know, cardiovascular uh, stuff. And then, of course, on Fridays was uh, uh, option option day. Uh, you can you know go play uh, basketball, volleyball. Um, we sent some kids out if they needed to go play some uh, football. And then, of course, you had an option to actually lift also. Uh, so it, it was our day was always full. Um, it was nice. Uh, so when I say unit work, uh, unit work is on Mondays, and that we would go over basketball games or we would go over football uh, or soccer. Um, pickleball, uh, and then of course we had ping pong tables, but uh, we we uh, we lost them over <laughs> over the break. I don't know what happened to them, so we, we got to find them again. But um, little games like that, you know, we, we try to get in, uh, involved, kids involved, so they, they have the team aspect, and of course, uh, you know, the I guess the social atmosphere. If you have any other questions, let me know. Hey guys, welcome to high school. Uh, since you see part of the the classrooms and mostly the school. There's gonna be some kids talking about uh, talking to you mostly about giving you advice and well, what to do, you know? Like for example, high school, yeah, it's gonna be fun all, but you should study and everything because you should learn like everything you can when you get out of high school so you could have a job or you could go to the college that you want to and have a great life, you know? So right now we're gonna to talk to more of the students right now. Hey guys, my name is Damien, I'm a senior. And the advice I'd give to any incoming freshman would be just to participate in as much things as you can. Uh, stay on top of your grades. Don't procrastinate. And just make the best of it because it definitely goes by fast. So just enjoy the time while it lasts and stay on top of everything. Hey, guys. I'm Jermaine. I'm a junior. So first year in high school, huh? Well, first thing, we have clubs. We have sports, soccer, basketball, volleyball, tennis. You know it. We also have gamers club, theaters, all kinds of stuff. Join, be active, get out of your comfort zone, it's fine, we've all been there. Mostly though, just have fun. Join all the events, all the clubs and sports, and you'll be fine, you'll have fun. You also know your boundaries, right? That's it. Hey guys, I'm George. I'm here to give you some basic advice for high school. Number one, utilize your resources. Bernalillo High School has some amazing resources for any and all students. Number two, have fun and make friends. You want to meet some amazing people through your journey at Bernalillo. Make sure to remember that, make some good memories. Hey freshmen, it's me, Francisco Diaz. I'm currently going to be a senior when you all come in. Some advice that I would give you for coming into high school is two different types of uh, advice technically. If you're a shy type of person, you don't want to talk to anyone, you can just stick to the walls. For those type of shy people, I recommend any type of extra activity we have. Any after school clubs or anything like that. Most of the time, more of the more sciencey ones and stuff like that, you'll find other people who are like you, they're shy, and then you can try and make friends with them. Become more, uh, what's the word? You can become more open, more extroverted. 
And for those who are extroverts and just want to hang out with people, go get into sports, you know? Hang around, go around to lunch, talk to people, make new friends. If y'all ever come to the, when you guys come to the high school and you see me, just pull up, say hi, I'll be like, what's up? And, you know, make new friends. That's probably one of the best advices I can give you when you come into this school. Because if you don't make any friends, then it's going to just be boring. So, it's probably your best bet, really. So, have a good time at our school, and I hope you enjoy it.